Hello everyone, I am Shivani Trivedi from TBS Engineering College, Ghaziabad. Today in this video, we are going to discuss about data rate limit. In this video, we discuss what is data rate limit and the two the techniques uh, to calculate the data rate that is your Nyquist bit rate and Shannon capacity. So a very important consideration in data communication is how fast we can send the data in bits per second over a channel. We can send the data so fast as fast as possible. That is your data rate. And depend on these three factors. The first factor is what is your bandwidth. How many bandwidth is available on the channel? Ki bandwidth kitni available hai? Level of the signal kya hai? Kitna level kitna level hum use kar rahe? and the quality of the channel, ki level of the noise. Usme noise ka factor kitna hai? So, ye teen baaton pe aapke data rate uh, depend on these three factors. So, you will be confused about what is mean by level of signal. Level of signal means if uh, I consider this is a signal and your bits are zeros and ones, then the level is uh, to represent this data in the form of zero and ones is Zero represent level uh, level one and uh, uh, one re uh, one represent level next level. So this in this form like this level one level two. Zero is represented by level one and one is represented by level two. So for two bit data two bit zeros and ones there is two levels. And if I am telling there is a uh, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. So how many levels levels are there? There are four levels. To represent one, uh, one, one level is for 0, 1, one level is for 0, 1, 0, 0, one level is for 1, 0, and one level is for 1, 1. So if I am telling uh, for eight level, if there are eight level, then how many bits are there? There are three bits. For three bit data, we require eight levels. So these are the level of the signal. For one bit, in general, for one bit, we require two levels. For two bit data, we require four levels. For three bits, we require eight levels. So these are the levels of the data. So in the, in the three these three factors, data rate depends. Now the uh, theoretically there are two formulas. One is for no noiseless channel, and the another one is for noisy channel. First, we see for noiseless channel there is a Nyquist bit rate. Nyquist bitrate formula is bitrate equals to 2 into bandwidth log base 2 L. What is L here? I already told in the previous slide, L is the number of signal level used to represent the data. If the data is of 1 bit, that is 0 and 1, then number of level is 2. If the data is of 2 bit, then number of level is 4. If the data is of 3 bit, then number of level is 8. Likewise. But... Uh, from this formula, we can see if we increase the number of level, then bad bit rate increases, data rate increases. But theoretically, this is correct. But practically, this is not practically if we implement this is incorrect. It is not possible practically. Like if I am telling there are 64 levels. Here you are overburdening the receiver. Aap receiver pe overburden dal rahe. How can you differentiate between the 64 levels? So this formula. Nyquist bitrate formula is theoretically correct, but practically it is not possible. Increasing the level of signal may reduce the reliability of the system. You are overburdening the receiver. So, uh, in the next, we will see some numerical on Nyquist bitrate. Formula I already told you. Consider a noiseless channel with bandwidth. Bandwidth is given 3000 hertz. Transmitting L is 2. Transmitting a signal with two signal levels. Maximum bit rate batana hai aapko. So bit rate equals to formula 2 into bandwidth into log base 2 L. So this is 6000 BPS bits per second. It's the unit of bit rate. Next. Consider the same noises channel transmit. Now same, same question but value of L now become 4. Here the, there the value is 2, here L become 4. Now bit rate equals to 2 into 3000 into log base to 4. If we calculate this is 12,000 BPS. Their answer, uh, in the previous slide their answer is 6000 and here answer is 12,000. So you can see if we increase the L then bit rate increases. Theoretically this is correct. 
but increasing the number of signal level will reduce will reliability of the system so uh some it is not used somewhere it is not used and practically uh, uh we cannot have a noiseless channel the channel is always noisy we need to send 265 kbs next question we need to send 265 kbs over a noiseless channel with a bandwidth of 20 bandwidth is given aapko l batana hai so bit rate apan ko given hai 265 kbps isko bits per second mein convert kar dete hain into 2 into uh, bandwidth given hai 20000 kar do isko and to log l then log l is something 6.625 l is 98.7 level but uh, I already told you, level is in the power of 2. No, the result is, but here the result is not in the power of 2. So, either you have to increase the number of level or reduce the bit rate. If I increase the level, then it will be 2 ki power next, or 128. If I increase the level, then it will be 64 level. So, if I consider 64 level, then it will be 240 bits, uh, kilobits per second. अगर मैं 128 लेवल्स uh, कंसीडर करती हूं तो आपका बिट रेट आएगा 280 2 280 किलोबिट्स पर सेकंड सो इफ द रिजल्ट इज नॉट नॉट इन द पावर ऑफ 2 तो इधर यू हैव टू इंक्रीज द नंबर ऑफ लेवल और डिक्रीज द नंबर ऑफ लेवल इट्स योर इट इज योर चॉइस तो अगर क्वेश्चन ऐसा आता है एग्जाम में तो आपको दोनों तरह की पॉसिबिलिटी लेके चलना है Next is the noisy channel. Is that for noisy channel, the formula is given by Shannon. That is your Shannon capacity, which is independent of L. That is number of levels. Formula is capacity equal to bandwidth into log 2, 1 plus SNR. Capacity is capacity of channel. So, what is Shannon? Because noiseless channel is uh, real life. Mein hota nahi. Uh, channel is always noisy. So, this formula... ये फॉर्मूला क्या बोलता है देयर इज नो इंडिकेशन ऑफ सिग्नल लेवल जो आपका नाइक्विस्ट में था यहां पे एल कोई भी चीज नहीं है ये ये बोलता है कि कैपेसिटी बिट्स पर सेकंड में जितनी भी आएगी आप उससे ऊपर कैपेसिटी अचीव ही नहीं कर सकते भले से आपके लेवल्स कितने ही हो आपके बैंडविड्थ कितनी हुई हो यू कैन नॉट अचीव अ डेटा रेट हायर देन दिस कैपेसिटी ऑफ द चैनल सो दिस दिस फॉर्मूला विल गिव यू द कैपेसिटी ऑफ द चैनल इन बिट्स पर सेकंड now we will see the numerical. Consider an extremely noisy channel in which the value of the SNR is almost zero. SNR is zero. Noise is so much. Noise is so strong that the signal is faint. For this channel, the capacity is calculated. C equal to, we have formula dekha, B log base to 1 plus SNR. SNR ki value is zero. Hai. Formula ke bana B log 1. Log 1 is zero. So capacity is also zero. Capacity is zero means bandwidth chai kuch bhi ho, aapki capacity is zero hai. You cannot receive any data through this channel because ki capacity is zero hai. Next, SNR is often given, is SNR is often given in decibel. Assume that SNR dB, SNR dB aapko de rakha hai, 36. SNR dB is given, you can calculate the SNR we have already seen the formula in the previous videos. SNR dB equal to log base 10 SNR. So we can calculate SNR from here. SNR equal to 10 to the power SNR dB divided by 10. So SNR equals to 10, 3.6. It is approximately 3981. SNR is coming. You can get capacity. Capacity equals to B log B aapko given it 2 into 10 to the power 6 into log 3982. 1 plus SNR na 3982. It is it is approximately 24 megabits per second. So these are the references that I used to design this lecture. In the next video, we will discuss about the network performance. Thank you for your patience listening.